What's up, everybody? Uh, so today, uh, I thought it would be fun to do uh, pick 10 baseball cards uh, that you can get for under $30. Uh, and the reason why I decided to do this is I was at Target the other day um, and walking by the, the, you know, the baseball card section, as I always do, and uh, I almost picked up uh, one of those blaster boxes or hangers, uh, whatever you want to call them, for uh, I think it was $29.99. And I've picked up so many of those blaster boxes and, um, and then every once in a while you get something pretty decent, but in the most, you know, for the most part, it's, you know, the short term kind of fun thing to do. Uh, but at the end of the day, you're down 30 bucks. Uh, so what I, what I'm trying to, to say, even if I can convince one person, the next time you go to Target or Walmart and you're about to pick up one of those uh, hanger blaster boxes for 30 bucks, maybe rethink that decision and buy one of these cards that I'm about to show you. Uh, so uh, to start off, I'm going to start off with the 1952 top set. Uh, and I'm sure the first thing you're thinking is, uh, Joe, there's no way that I can afford, obviously, a Mickey Mantle, um, but you, uh, you won't be able to for under 30 bucks. Um, and you might also be thinking, okay, well, you know, for 30 bucks, you know, even for, you know, a 52 tops common card, it's going to be this beat up card that looks like it was ran over by a truck. Um, but that's actually not true. Uh, the 52 top set, which is the inaugural um, top set, the first top set ever released uh, almost 66 years ago today. Um, that you can pick up a really, really nice uh, 52 tops card and, and this is especially for people that don't um, you know dabble in vintage it is so cool to own a card that is uh, 66 years old and um, here let me let me give you guys some examples so uh, what I did is I, I entered in 1952 tops PSA 4 uh, and I even uh, put a price range in of 25 to 30 bucks and you, you see here there are 189 results so the beauty of this, and, and I'm not going to suggest a particular card, but the beauty of this is that you could literally um, choose your favorite team. You can kind of click and you know look at some of the cards and you know pick out your favorite. Um, also, in addition to that, uh, you could put in um, 1952 tops PSA five, so you can get a a four or a five. So here, here's an example. This is a 1952 tops Dick Sisler. PSA 5 for 25 bucks <clears throat> and um, you can see here uh, look at this card beauty um, this is a guy the Dick Sisler is uh, a player that was a two-time World Series champion an all-star uh, his dad was a Hall of Famer and then the, the the kind of the fun part about getting a card like this is you get to learn about that particular player and um, and you and and also the cool thing is you know these cards I mean this is graded by PSA getting a card graded by PSA if you were to just do it um, with insurance and shipping can cost um, you know ten to fifteen dollars just to get it graded and this is already so you know it's already graded so you don't have to worry about that <clears throat> um, you don't have to wait for it to to you know send it in and get get it returned um, so that's already built into the price. So I mean, you're at the end of the day, you're paying fifteen dollars for for this card, and uh, look at this, it's an absolute beauty. So anyway, that's my first recommendation. Instead of spending thirty dollars on a blaster box, pick up a beautiful 1952 tops card from the inaugural top set. All right, so the next card that I'm going to recommend is picking up a card from the T206 set. Uh, these cards uh, were made between the years of 1909 and 1911, were in uh, packs of tobacco, um, and uh, over uh, 109 years ago. And again, you know, uh, what I would do if, if you're interested in, you know, picking up, you know, a, a real cheap T206 card, again, you can put in a price range of $25 to $30. Uh, and then just type in T206 SGC. So for uh, the 52 tops card, make sure you search uh, 1952 tops PSA 4 or PSA 5. Uh, for uh, the, the tobacco card, if you're interested in uh, picking up one, T206 SGC is, is usually the way to go. And um, again, now you're not going to be able to pick up as nice of a card uh, as the, the 1952 tops uh, card. Uh, so, for example, this is a, a card that is in an SGC2, 
Uh, but you know, again, it it is so cool. This is a card from 1910, and and again, this is this is this recommendation is for people that you know are only collectors of modern cards. Uh, just to you know, have a card in your collection from the the, the you know 1909, 1910, 1911, uh, over 109 years, uh, 109 years ago, um, and you can see here, here's the back. Um, just something that I highly recommend, and and like you like you could see here is that uh, if I type in T206 SGC, there are 68 results. So you can kind of go through these uh, these cards, see what what card you like the best. Maybe you pick out, uh, you know, a card from your favorite team. You know, if, again, if if you're a um, a Yankee fan, you want to pick up a uh, a New York Highlander card, maybe. Um, or you know, if you're a Cubs fan, the Cubs were around back then. So uh, just just something you know, kind of cool to pick up. All right, guys. So the next card, the the third card that I'm going to recommend is the '89 Topps traded Ken Griffey Jr. in a PSA 10. Uh, so this, it, I've been saying this for a while now, I believe in the next 10 to 20 years, people uh, my age, uh, you know, from the late 80s, early 90s, are going to begin to rediscover the hobby and they're going to have a lot of expendable income. And cards like this from the 80s are going to continue to go up in value, especially cards like this that, you know, when people rediscover the hobby, they're not going to want a Melito Perez <laughs> or you know a Carlos Quintana they're going to want uh the the cards that they've always wanted as a kid but never picked up and this is a card that I actually never owned growing up uh this is the 89 Tops trade and it's a beautiful card uh so you could only pick this card up as part of the traded set uh people are going to want to pick it up because uh they're going to want the PSA 10 version especially when you can buy this card for 29.99 you could pick up this beautiful card <clears throat> for under $30 uh, and then another card just to consider, uh, you know, this is just to go along with that, uh, is the 89 score traded. Uh, for in, in this case, I'm picking it up for 26.99 for even less. And there's uh, this score. This card is even more scarce than the uh, the tops traded card. Now, if you're gonna if you want to pick up the 89 upper deck, which is gonna be uh, is a lot more popular, it's gonna cost you a fortune for a PSA 10. <clears throat> but the beauty is if you go for the score traded or the, the, the top traded card, you can get it for under 30 bucks in a PSA 10. So already graded, you don't have to worry about getting it graded, and you can pick it up for under 30 bucks. All right, guys, so the fourth card that I'm going to recommend is, and this is probably the card that I recommend more than any of the other cards in the top 10. That's even if you could find it for under 30 bucks. I, I was looking at it the other day. Selling for under 30 bucks, you can see this one sold for 20, $29.95. Uh, the 2013 Tops Update, Nolan Arenado. Um, if you can pick it up for under 30 bucks, um, you have got to act on it. Um, this guy is uh, one of the best players in the game right now. I think um, uh, MLB had him at number six recently. Um, and then on top of that, this is part of the Tops update set, which everyone loves, just like the base Tops. And it's because it's part of the update set, it's a little bit more, it's a little bit more scarce. Uh, and then just of course by comparison, if you pick up a Mike Trout uh, in a PSA 10, uh, it's going to cost you about 400 bucks. If you picked up it, now the Altuve is going crazy. I think it's uh, about a hundred dollars for for that Tops update. So if you can pick up uh, Nolan Arenado for under 30 bucks in a PSA 10, um, the, you know, and it's just a matter of time before he wins an MVP and his cards skyrocket. And he he's up there for guys, I mean, he's, uh, you know, one of three or four guys in the National League that I would pick for win, winning the National League MVP this year. So uh, another card that I highly recommend, uh, if you don't already have it, the 2013 Nolan Arenado, Tops Update, in a PSA 10. All right, guys, so number five on my list is the 2001 Bowman Albert Pujols card. Um, he is at 2,968 hits as of uh, making this video. He's getting to 3,000 hits in 2018, unless something crazy happens. He'll probably do it by May. And um, when he reaches 3,000 hits, of course, his cards are going to go up. Um, so... You know, now is the time, to, you know, he has had, um, he obviously he was unbelievable in St. Louis and his cards have gone down significantly since he went to the Angels. But now is the time to buy, you know, if, if you're going to pick up, this guy's going to the Hall of Fame. 
Uh, and he might be looked at as one of the greatest baseball players of all time, even though his, uh, you know, he, he kind of reminds me of uh, Ken Griffey Jr., actually. A guy that um, had an amazing career with Seattle, and then he went to the Reds, and he just was never the same, and then people stopped caring about him, and then he retired, and people started appreciating him again. Uh, so I could see something happen happening very similar with uh, Albert Pujols, and you could pick up his 2001 Bowman rookie for pretty cheap. Now, if you pick up a PSA 10 version, believe it or not, it's going to cost you around $600. But uh, you can pick up a raw version. You can see these raw versions for $25, $29, uh, $29.99. You can even pick up this card already graded uh, in an 8.5 uh, for, uh, what is it, uh, $29.99. Pretty nice looking rookie card of Albert Pujols. And uh, like I said, guys, when he reaches 3,000 hits, you know, his cards are going to go up. You saw, you know, uh, what went on with uh, with Jeter, and I don't think it'll be anything like that. But people start to, you know, when you hit those milestones, people start to appreciate uh, the, these great players um, even more. So uh, just... You know, before the season starts, uh, there's something uh, maybe to pick up uh, before he gets to 3,000. All right, so at number six, uh, it, speaking of the of Hall of Famers, is this guy Edgar Martinez, a Yankee killer, <laughs> uh, and this is the 1988 Fleer Glossy in a PSA nine, and um, you could I'm I'm saving you a couple bucks. This is only 21.99, uh, and the reason why I mentioned him in a previous video uh, is I I hit a, hit his autograph. And uh, this, and by the way, this is the Fleer Glossy. It's sort of like the the, the Topps Tiffany set. It's sort of that high end set, uh, and you could pick it up in a in a already graded PSA nine. Really nice looking card. And um, uh, and the reason why I mentioned him is because um, in 2018 he'll be on his final year to get on uh, get in, inducted into the Hall of Fame. And I believe this will be the year that he finally gets in. Uh, Mariano Rivera will obviously also get in. But, uh, you know, on the 10th uh, induction, I think that Edgar will get in with Mariano. And, of course, when a player gets inducted into the Hall of Fame, uh, his cards will probably go up. Uh, so now would be the time to buy it if, if you are interested in buying it before he gets into the Hall of Fame. Uh, and this is probably the, you know, this is the card to get uh, with, with Edgar Martinez, the 1988 Fleer card. And if you're going to get that card, you might as well get the glossy version, especially if you can afford it for $21.99 uh, already graded. So um, highly recommend uh, picking up this card. All right, so number seven, uh, and I've recommended this card before, is the 1987 top straight at Greg Maddox uh, in a PSA 10. So again, you're getting the card already graded, one of the greatest pitchers that I've ever seen. And this goes along again with uh, people rediscovering the hobby. And if they rediscover the hobby, what are they going to want? They're going to want the greatest players of their generation, and they're going to want them in a PSA 10. They're going to want them in a 10. They're not going to want them in an 8 or a 9. Uh, so this card you could pick up, uh, tops traded, PSA 10, Greg Maddox for $24.99. Uh, and now, you know, with, um, you know, guys like Roger Clemens, uh, you know, with the, with the steroid scandals, I mean, Greg Maddox is, is probably the greatest pitcher of, of, of my generation. Him, Pedro Martinez, Randy Johnson. And uh, I love watching Greg Maddox pitch just because he didn't have the stuff that some of these other pitchers had. He just beat everybody with deception and the ability to throw every single pitch and put it exactly where he wanted to throw it. So anyway, um, love this card. I love this set. The 87 Tops, uh, tops just the top set, um, is one of my favorite sets of all time. Uh, so for $25, bucks, uh, one of the greatest pitchers ever in a perfect 10, uh, why not, right? All right, at number eight, uh, I felt like I couldn't get away with doing this without uh, doing a little bit of prospecting, which is a part of the things that, that I love to do. And it's um, this is more for the fun of it, uh, of prospecting. Ronald Asuna is, um, without a doubt, the favorite to win uh, the Rookie of the Year this year for the National League. In the American League, I have no idea who's going to win Rookie of the Year. Now, of course, last year, uh, Dansby Swanson and Ben Attendee 
were clear favorites to win Rookie of the Year, and then, of course, it turned into Judge and Bellinger. But you saw last year what happened. If, if you have a rookie sensation that goes crazy, their cards go crazy, you saw what happened with Judge, you saw what happened with Bellinger last year, uh, and how nice would it have been to pick up one of their cards before you know the beginning of the season. So... What you know, if if you are into prospecting, um, I would pick up the 2017 Bowman draft. Um, you could pick this up for 30 bucks. This is uh, you want to obviously pick up the lowest uh, numbered parallel. This is numbered to 99, uh, and here it is. Yeah, you can see it's numbered to 99. You probably want to get it ungraded, um, you know, and then maybe get it graded uh, if if you're into that. <laughs> Uh, and then uh, at the end of the year, when his cards go crazy, that would be the time to sell. Although his cards are already r incredibly high. So just be very careful if you are interested in buying this guy. And, and you know, just like last year, you never know what's going to happen. I just feel like, you know, with, with rookies, it's all about opportunity. Like Andujar, Gleyber Torres, are they even going to get the opportunity to play? With Asuna, he's on the Braves. They have nothing else to lose but to rebuild, and he's going to get opportunity, and they're going to give him a chance to to uh, play and potentially win Rookie of the Year. So now might be the time to pick up his cards. He's the clear favorite in the National League, and like I said, in the American League, it's wide open. So uh, there's uh, one of the prospects that I would pick. All right, so number nine, um, I wanted to pick a guy that is under the radar uh, in terms of prospects. So I want to, obviously, Asuna and uh, Vladimir Guerrero Jr., two guys that are <laughs> everyone knows about in terms of prospects, if you follow that stuff. So one of the guys that gets absolutely no love, who's also part of the Blue Jays team, is this guy, Anthony Alford, uh, who's hitting um, 364 in spring training. He has an 1,100 OPS. Uh, he's been, uh, you know, one of those guys, you know, the Blue Jays are looking uh, again to, you know, infuse a little bit of, uh, uh, you know, younger talent onto their team. And usually with a Bowman Chrome Auto, look up Vladimir Ger Guerrero Jr.'s Bowman Chrome Auto and look how much that's going to cost you. Uh, this is twenty five ninety nine. You could probably you could probably get it for 20 bucks. Just take a shot on a guy like Anthony Alford. He's a top 50 prospect. He's a hitter, and hitters always uh, end up doing really well in terms of the, uh, the, the value of the, the baseball card. So I don't know. I'm going to take a shot on this guy, Anthony Alford, um, who's, again, if you, finding any top 50 prospect that's a hitter and finding their first Bowman Chrome Auto um, for a good price is very difficult. So anyway, uh, Anthony Alford at number nine. All right, guys, so the last card that I'm going to recommend is the 2015 uh, Tops Chris Bryant in a PSA 10. And uh, you guys know the deal with him. You know, two years ago, he was the talk of the town. His cards were going crazy um, and, you know, went on to win the World Series with the Cubs. And he's already got a Rookie of the Year under his belt. He's got an MVP under his belt. And then last year, everyone forgot about him. Uh, Aaron Judge came on the scene. His cards have gone down significantly since then, and uh, I just highly recommend uh, picking up uh, Chris Bryant. There's four or five guys out there that can that can eventually replace Mike Trout as the greatest baseball player out there, and Chris Bryant, for me, is one of those guys. Uh, so why not? I mean, the, the Trout goes for you know $400. Now, this is just a, the, the base tops card, but just a card to... To consider, I, I, I could see him, um, and I feel like he's a cub for life, which will also help the value of this car, of his cards. As soon as a player moves to another team, um, the cards become less valuable. So, um, you know, you've seen it with lots of players. Once they leave the team, they, you know, they're, they don't become as collectible. I think that Chris Bryant is a cub for life, and he's already got the championship. He's already got the rookie of the year. He's already got the MVP. He's a potential future Hall of Famer. And uh, getting his card for under 30 bucks in a P and already graded, that's the key, is that you don't have to deal with all the crap that comes along with getting a card graded, uh, which is a huge pain. Uh, it's already been graded. It's already PSA 10. And so that's it, guys. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Those are 10 cards under $30. Uh, next time you go to grab one of those uh, blaster boxes, maybe you'll uh, think twice and grab one of these cards instead. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you later. Pearl!